Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, Divine Feminines. I feel like talking about the Divine Feminines today. So not necessarily to the Divine Feminines, but about them. I've got a selection of decks here. Let me just um, make some room. We've got Angels of Light cards. I've got a bit of a list. <laughs> the Tarot Mucha, we should start with these. The Affirmators, the Enchanted Map, Sacred Destiny, and the Divine Feminine Oracle. Let's go to the Tarot first, and then we'll go to the Divine Feminine Oracle. Oh my, <clears throat> I feel extremely thirsty. But that's really hot. It's a cup of coffee in a teacup. It makes a nice cup of coffee. That cup makes a nice cup of coffee. Oh, we've gone to the Divine Feminine's uh, cards first. Okay, let's just go with the flow. Let's see what energy the Divine Feminine is in. <clears throat> in a way, it's kind of like trying to find out what mood the Divine Feminine's in. Let's have a look. <laughs> Catherine Labour, the patroness of miraculous healing. I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. Let's have a look and see why we selected this card. Page number 48. It can feel effortless to ask for what our loved ones need. We can fall on our knees at times to pray for the health and highest possible outcome for our beloved children and partners or friends. What's often far more difficult is asking for what, for asking for all that we need. For many of us, lack of self-worth can get in the way of realising that we can ask for so much more and that ultimately there is no difference between praying for our own needs and the needs of our loved ones. There are so many miracles, graces and blessings that don't arrive simply because we don't ask for them. Spirit is ethical. Spirit doesn't interfere with our intrinsic right to choose our own adventure story. Free will is ours. So we have to ask for spirit to intervene in the effort of our own healing. Ask and you will find this is a spiritual truth. And also suffering is optional. Suffering doesn't glorify us or make us more holy. At any point we can ask for the highest possible good to shower, <laughs> to shower down on us. Before I came on I was kind of chatting to myself. It was like my hair soaking wet. I felt like we had been blessed, okay? Um, I suppose like a christening, a blessing. So uh, at any point we can ask for the highest possible good to, sh to shower down on us. We can ask to be healed in ways we can't even imagine by handing that healing over to the divine. The healing might not arrive in the way we picture being healed. Our lower back may still throb with pain, but our heart has shifted and there's a miraculous amount of light within our lives again. If we can hand over an attachment to what healing is going to look like, we can receive all the blessings waiting for us. A very nice energy for the Divine Feminine to be in. Um, I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. So the Soul Voice Meditation for this card is, what can I ask for help in healing? And the intention, I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. It's like she's, it's a penguin in there. That's what it looks like. It's like she's, I don't know. It's like a, well, in a way it's like a pocket watch. But then it's like a locket. I think about locking it in. <laughs> It's 
like she's got secrets here. Okay, let's have a look and see. I've got the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, the King of Cups has been coming out quite a lot, so I feel the King of Cup, the King of Cup, the King of Cup is inquisitive. Oh, I feel like my head's throbbing a little bit. I've got a bit of a headache. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Well, there's a tower. <laughs> there's a tower. And then there's true love. That's really beautiful. The tower happens when you're on the wrong path. And uh, I don't know, either you're not noticing the signs or you're being stubborn and refusing to budge. But you, your inner being knows that you're on the wrong path. But you're just hesitant to do anything about it. So the divine does something about it. The tower. Interesting because it wasn't like the shit hit the fan. It's nothing like that. It's just like this tower involves both of you. And I feel it's just time to heal. You got the the masculine here with a cup and the feminine here with a cup. So the king and queen of cups. A very healing card, the two of cups here. True love. Okay, should we um, read these cards? Oh, now I feel really shaky. The tower. A blast from the heavens destroys a tower that seemed unconquerable and those who dwelled within its walls fall from the heights. The tower was built, <clears throat> the tower was built with such a forbidding design that it not only protected its inhabitants, it effectively imprisoned them in their own creation. The tower now stands open to the elements, its magnificent gilded dome blown away. Worldly wealth and the illusion of security matter little to the soul who demands liberation. If you do not seek freedom on your own, the universe may give it to you in unexpected ways. Nothing can prepare you for the shock of the blasted tower, but if you freely move beyond your small enclosure, you can avoid being thrown from it against your will. Key ideas, sudden change, utter transformation, destruction that leads to creation, shock, awakening. <clears throat> well, after like yesterday's title, it's kind of like a, a great cosmic tsunami. I also spoke about this blast of passion coming your way. Okay, well, it's love. It's all of it. It's love, sex and romance. That's what makes a genius. The Two of Cups. When two people experience true affinity of heart and mind... It is as if an angelic presence blesses them both. It takes courage to be vulnerable with another person. So share your secrets and your dreams. The winged lion symbolises the courage lifted and sustained by the wings of love. The healing kaju... I can never pronounce this word even though I've been told it. Kajukis... I normally say Caducus, but it's not correct. I'll say it this time that way. <laughs> I knew it was coming up. The healing Caducus, it's important what it's a symbol of, okay? I should practice my pronunciations with this word. It's a symbol of the god Mercury. He who connects and communicates, bringing messages that convey truth to those who are open to hear them. In time, this love may deepen into commitment. For now, it is enough to gaze into the beloved, the beloved's eyes and feel the world being born anew. The key ideas, romance, idealized love, sharing from the hearts, the healing power of affection. So really the energy here is the Divine Feminine, she's very healing. 
to the Divine Masculine. And he's quite happy to like just gaze at her and feel like born again really comes through. Okay, let's have a look at the Enchanted map then. <coughs> born free. I'm going over that word in my head because I only heard it the other day and I thought I had it I thought I had it in there and it's just <clears throat> I've got the card okay <sighs> penguin there is taking me to like Batman anyway like the originals <clears throat> we have intention card number 22 lots of twos signs of 222 two, two. you might be seeing like 111 uh, quite a lot um where's the book here it is card number 22 I do apologize I was quite distracted um then Let's have a look at the message. Deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world. Deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world. What I actually feel here is that you have kind of like taken heed of the last messages saying that, you know, there is a, a storm coming. There is going to be a tower that hits. How can you kind of avoid it? You can't avoid the tower, but you can make it... Uh, a little more pleasant than what it would be if you didn't address it so um it's like before disaster strikes what can i do so i feel like this is a masculine energy here who is wanting to heal um okay well let's read this uh, card your objectives will be fulfilled at this time inspired intentions are like magic arrows shot into the sky the universe is bringing you a gift, showing you that you're hitting your mark. Recognise that you're not the one who has to do all the work. However, others help you co-create reality. You connect to the power of your intention, sending it out into the field, then allow for synchronicity to work its magic. Perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own. Own the life you want to lead and live deliberately with clarity and detachment. Now, this reading is about the Divine Feminine. So it's kind of the Divine Masculine's copying you. So perhaps the good intentions of like you, Divine Feminine, will inspire the Divine Masculine to send out beautiful ones of his own. And this is you, Divine Feminine. You're owning the life you want to lead and living deliberately with clarity and detachment. Okay, we brought it back then. So let's have a look at the um, Angels of Light. It's like, let's hear it for the girls. <laughs> dun, dun. <clears throat> Archangel Raphael. You are blessed to be, it doesn't say you're blessed to be, you are blessed to be. You are blessed to attract this angel card for Archangel Raphael brings health, healing and abundance. And that's what this, it didn't make mention of it, but it, this is a healing wand. He will help you to develop your intuition and inner vision. Call on him if you need help in these areas now. He also protects travellers during journeys, so this is a fortuitous card if you are about to travel. If you are a healer or wish to be one, Archangel Raphael will direct pure divine energy to you. He works on the green ray of healing and balance, so visualise yourself surrounded by a clear green light and invoke his guidance. Affirmation, I am happy, healthy and abundant now before this card came up i was just about to say to you about music and if you're uh, recognizing that a lot of the songs that are sung by feminines 
um, it's kind of like if you change the words around, then it's like the masculines. I felt that the feminines singing um, are singing what the masculines are feeling. Okay, let's go to your sacred destiny here. A bit like I've got a teacup and I don't drink tea. You don't need to ration me on the tea. Have it all. Um, that kind of energy. Okay. Oh, I noticed that my number 11 was around the wrong way. And so I changed that before I came on. It, did, it does say on here, communication, intuition and balance. And when it said here about this card being about healing and balance, I'm sure it said that. I don't know. <laughs> it's like disappeared now. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Let's just carry on, guys. Yeah. It's like it's a nice blue colour. It kind of comes in with me. It's more blue today. I'm not feeling blue. Feels a nice freshing. Freshing or refreshing, just a freshing energy. Let's have a look at the sacred destiny here for the divine feminine. Just one card, it feels quite thick. Stillness. Oh, look at the colours, they're beautiful, guys. That's definitely the energy. It's just being. It's like transforming into a beautiful swan here. Stillness. Let's read about stillness. We can read about the frozen tundra. The tundra is a stark and severe landscape found in both the southern and northern hemispheres. It is usually bereft of most plant and animal life and can only support very low growing plants such as mosses and lichen. The soil is frozen year round, so it is impossible for trees to grow in that barren landscape. Why do I feel this is bringing me in with like the, the tower card here? Being on the wrong path. Or maybe, maybe be just being in the wrong area. In the winter, the landscape is very cold and dark and wild winds surge across the desolation. Even in the summer, the land remains frozen, although the surface can be soggy and covered with lakes, marshes, ponds and bogs that become havens for millions of migrating birds. So the sacred landscape wants you to know. I was just making sure I had the right card. Take a step back from a project, situation or relationship, even if just, even if for just a few moments. Men's bridges, slow down, breathe, be still, go within, listen to your inner voice, take time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors and spiritual guardians, listen to your higher self, timing is everything and this is not a good time to start a new cycle, wait, incubate, fix things that need fixing, heal things that need healing, think things through, Forgive yourself and others. If, if things seem barren or even bleak, hold on. Just as the migrating birds find new life in the tundra marshes in the summer, you too will expand once again during the coming thaw in your life. And that really just suggests a lot of healing energy coming over the Divine Masculine at this time. Okay. It's time for them to rest. It did say he's happy to gaze from afar. For now, why he feels like a new, a new. Let's have a look at the affirmator here. <clears throat> Is that all of the cards I've got? I think so. I think our time's nearly up now. Okay. Our time's nearly up. Sounds so serious. I can carry on. How long have we been on for? Only 19 minutes. So I can definitely carry on. <clears throat> we got manifestation here. So it comes in beautifully with, for one, it's a bonus card. 
22 in your intention, manifestation. If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen. Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting. But don't use that word if you don't want to. So it's got to be when you're ready, when you're ready to manifest them. When you're ready to manifest them, it will be available to you. Your dreams and desires, them being these two. <laughs> okay. Shall we continue on this story? We can do. I'm still going to put the cards away though. We'll just see where it goes. Okay. It's best not to plan. go back to the tower. I won't be needing the Divine Feminine cards anymore. I won't be needing the Divine Feminine anymore. Thank you, Divine Feminine, for that insight into your energy. Okay. So, Divine Masculine. Oh, the chair's gone all squeaky now. Okay. Let me shuffle the cards. <clears throat> you want me to sing? Let's hear it for the boy. Mm -mm. My baby, you don't talk sweet He ain't got much to say But he loves me, loves me, loves me I know that he loves me anyway <laughs> Sounds about right <laughs> Let's have a look, oh my goodness Okay, so you're off to somewhere I just saw the nightmare card here But it's a feminine in their bed So it's probably me saying, oh my goodness, okay what should we talk about this nightmare of yours? You're going off to a strange land, but you don't know where you're going. And it's like you've been blindfolded and you'll know when you get there. That's the card of moving on. Who's the person taking you there? He has an Aladdin energy about him. So like your own manifestation. So it's like have trust and faith. And if you're scared, okay, close your eyes. And you'll just be there. Interesting. Okay. So you're definitely going into a new life here. But it feels like you've only just died. So I feel that the, that the divine is going to be moving you quite fast. Because you've got the death energy here. And I feel this is you. Like, seriously, you've kind of had it. And then this character comes... And says it's time. It's like you need to get out of there. That's where you're going. Over there. Through there. The towers. So this is a way that you can avoid the towers. Okay. Because he's actually going to be taking you. So it looks scary. But it's not. It's like you need to get out of there quick. Before the tower strikes. So it's like time's now. Gotta, gotta go. Well maybe not. I don't know. Because it seems that you're quite content to feel reborn but that could happen overnight i mean it only takes one aha moment really um for you to get it okay should we put a, should we pull some more cards or should we just leave it there let's see what these two cards say oh, i feel like i want to gasp for breath okay so i feel like you've been through a really tough time but it's like I know you don't know where you're going, but you're going to have to have faith and faith, faith, haste, faith and trust. I don't know. Let's have a look. The Six of Swords. A ferryman transports a traveller across choppy water towards a farther shore. The traveller takes no active role in this journey. 
He sits within a shelter of swords, removed from the world, wounded and withdrawn. When he gets to the other side, he will take up his life's path again. For now, he gathers his strength and allows healing of body and spirit to do their work. So it's really important that you heal. Divine Masculine. And I feel that's what the last reading was about. Okay. Letting others carry you for a time. Passive acceptance of help and recovery. So you may feel that you need a bit longer. Do you though? Well, it's all about divine timing, really. It's all about your timing. And only you're going to receive those nudges and inspirations to get you moving. Okay, so let's have a look. So it's like, stop playing dead here. <laughs> um, death card. A long vigil ends at sunrise and the knight who has undergone the ordeal lies naked and seemingly dead. His sword has been held in the possession of a priest. I think that's the divine taking it off of you. For no, for no worldly weapon can be of use when the enemy is death itself. Setting aside the trappings of his mortal life, the knight offered himself on the altar of the ultimate sacrifice to die to his old self and be reborn, purified, worthy of sacred service. Will death claim the knight for his own or set his feet back on the path of mortality? To truly be transformed, it must not matter. Acceptance of endings is demanded, whether of life itself or merely one role in that lifetime. Something that is finished must be released. The new day is dawning. Key ideas, release of what no longer serves, the end of a part of life, rebirth into a new self or situation. Should we have a look and see what's on the cards for your sacred destiny? Blue skies and white fluffy clouds, even though these are like nice, uh, but there's nice waves here for you to enjoy. I can see the white fluffy clouds though. Okay, so it's just a really beautiful energy. I don't even know how to describe it to you. Let's go to the angels of light first because I feel they're coming through here. So you see the sunflower. I think that card's purification anyway. Sunflowers grow really, really quickly. All of a sudden they just shoot up and they're big and strong and bright. And noticeable so you're going to notice the transition you've got two cards here the first card is Archangel Jophiel Archangel Jophiel works on the golden ray so Archangel Jophiel works on the golden ray drawing wisdom from source ask him to illuminate you and help you to connect with your own deep knowing. He will also help you to learn and absorb information. So if you are studying or involved in any form of education, divine assistance is available to you now. Call on Archangel Jophiel for direction and strength. He will help you to remove negativity and become open-minded, clear and wise. The angels remind you it is time for you to wear the golden cloak of wisdom. So visualise yourself surrounded in gold light and be wise. The affirmation, I connect with my inner wisdom. And the next card is opportunity. We are all presented with opportunities and are expected to flow with the currents that come our way. Drawing this angel card suggests that something is now being made available to you and it is up to you to use it to your greatest advantage. Be alert, be aware and be prepared. You can, of course, make your own opportunities, 
if you knock on enough doors, one will inevitably be open to you. So you are also reminded to persevere, for it may be that a door which was previously locked has now been opened a crack. Quieten your mind and ask the angels to help you. The affirmation, I am ready for all opportunities. Okay, let's have a look at this purification energy. And I'm singing, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I know I am, I'm sure I am. I'm H-A-P-P-Y. Summer rain. Traditionally, <coughs> traditionally, rain symbolises rebirth and washing one's sins away. Water is also associated with emotions and a summer rain can represent the release of long-held emotions that allow for a purification and inner healing. There is also a renewal aspect of rain. The old saying, April showers bring May flowers, means that what follows the rain is a time of renewal and blossoming. Not like after having my shower. <laughs> the sacred landscape wants you to know it's difficult for new, vibrant energy to enter your life if it is clogged with old and outdated energy. Cleanse and purify your body and your physical space. This is a great time for a detox. Clutter clearing, cleansing and space clearing. Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. For some reason I thought the camera stopped recording. Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. Eat lightly. Don't take things personally. Release resentment, guilt and blame. Purify yourself, thought, word and deed. Decluttering is modern day alchemy. If you don't love it or use it, let it go. This card can also represent abundance as flowing water is a metaphor for prosperity and summer is the time of expansion. Okay, would you like an affirmator? Let's get you an affirmator or two. It's another bonus card. It's abundance. Congratulations. It seems you're due for an infinitely big piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready, unless you're lactose intolerant, and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. Another bonus card, perseverance. It seems you're on a massive journey right now. And this card has arrived to remind you that you will reach, you will reach the other side. The mountain you're climbing is huge and formidable, but so is your ability to climb it. You don't need to enjoy it. You just need to tackle it. Complain if it makes the job easier. Blow off steam. You think mountain climbers get to the top of Everest on inspirational quotes? No way. They're grunting and crying and cursing like freaking pirates. That just doesn't sell a lot of posters. Divine Masculine, you do still have um, a journey in front of you that's quite uh, challenging. Okay, but uh, you are strong enough to tackle it. It's when I said about the tower, why wait for the tower to like seriously come down on you? You know that it's going to happen. So get out of there before it gets too bad. Okay. Um, I don't think I need to explain that to you anymore. Perseverance. You have to remember you're preparing for the springtime. And in the summertime, there's going to be expansion. So a lot of things. Uh, the wintertime, the cards have said, is like the buzz of activity that's going on. Like under the ground, under the ground, underground. We're going underground. Okay. Um... Commitment. 
this is what it's all leading up to. I feel the springtime is going to strengthen your commitment and uh, and then you will be expanding that in the summertime. In the summertime when the weather is fine. 36, let's have a look. But now is the time for healing, Divine Masculine. Commitment, a true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body and soul. This is a good time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfilment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the higher self in another. Divine Masculine, others are more willing to enter into relationships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the higher self in another. So something here about you really... Um, comprehending um, the nature of this connection, of this commitment. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can, I don't know if it'll be a Mother Mary card or a Rumi card. Let me just feel around, have a feel around. Oh, it's a Journey of Love card. Okay, we'll do a Journey of Love card. We're at 37 minutes now. Okay. Right then. We have the ancient ones. Your spiritual growth is now acknowledged and witnessed by the heavenly ones that see beyond time and space into the reality of your soul. Do not lose heart if your spirituality is not fully acknowledged, understood or appreciated by those around you in the physical world as yet. Though they may love you, it is most likely that their vision is still bound by time and space and they cannot see into the very real gains that you have made in the subtle worlds where all true spiritual growth begins. So the ancient ones reach out to you and bring this message. We see you, beloved. We honour your growth. It is real, it is palpable and soon it will manifest fully in the physical world, with breathtaking beauty, we honour your light. Namaste. I thought that was a message for the Divine Feminine. This oracle brings guidance that you have taken a leap in personal growth. I feel now we swap to the Divine Masculine. If you're still testing it in the physical world, trying to translate your inner changes into outer experiences, take heed. It's only a matter of time before you see reflected back to you in your physical world, what you have become within. And and you will see it mirrored back to you in the eyes of those around you in sacred relationship too. So let's leave it on this poem, page number 122. Here's wishing you some sunshine the day after the rain. Here's a hug of understanding when life seems filled with pain. Here's knowing that emotion like wind blows many ways. And our course will seem more certain with the dawn of each new day. Guys, have a lovely day. I'll catch up with you all soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.